Hi everyone, in this video of algebraic identities, we are going to study about factorization of algebraic expressions. So what is factorization? The process of writing a given algebraic expression as the product of two or more factors is called factorization. Now we shall learn about factorization by using the following two identities. Identity 1 is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Identity 2 is a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now if you observe in each of these two identities, the left hand side is showing the factors and right hand side is showing the product in the form of algebraic expression. Now in the identity 1, a square plus 2ab plus b square is the product which is you can say algebraic expression and which has two factors a plus b into a plus b which we can also write a plus b whole square. So these are the two factors. Now similarly in identity 2 a square minus 2ab plus b square is the product and it has two factors a minus b into a minus b which we can write a minus b whole square. So these are the factors. Now we shall take a few questions related to factorization where we are given the product in the form of algebraic identities and we have to find its factors. So the question is factorize the following using suitable identities. So let's start with the first question x square plus z square minus 2xz. Now in the form of identity if I have to write I can write x whole square minus 2 into x into z plus z square. Now it is in the form of identity 2 that is a square minus 2ab plus b square whose factors are a minus b whole square. Over here if you closely observe it a is equal to x and b is equal to z. So the factors are x minus z into x minus z which is equal to x minus z whole square. Now we shall move to second question. 4x square plus 9y square minus 12xy. Now if we have to write in the form of identity, we will say 2x whole square plus 3y whole square minus 2 into 2x into 3y. Now it is in the form of identity 2 that is a square minus 2ab plus b square which is equal to a minus b whole square. So over here a is equal to 2x, b is equal to 3y. So our factors are 2x minus 3y into 2x minus 3y is equal to 2x minus 3y whole square. Now let's move to third question. 121p square plus 16q square minus 88pq. Now in the form of identity we will write this question. 121p square we can write 11p whole square. 16q square we can write 4q whole square minus 2 into 11p into 4q. Now it is in the form of identity 2 a square minus 2ab plus b square whose factors are a minus b whole square. So over here a is equal to 11p b is equal to 4q therefore the factors are 11p minus 4q into 11p minus 4q which is equal to 11p minus 4q whole square. Now let's move to question number 4. 9x square y minus 24xy square plus 16y cube. Now over here if you observe we are given 9x square y and then minus 24xy square plus 16y cube. That means y is extra over here. We have identity related to a square. We don't have an identity with a y cube. So what we can do is we can take y common. So inside the bracket we are left with 9x square minus 24xy plus 16y square. Now this is in the form of an identity 2. So further we can write it as 9x square can be written 3x whole square. 
Now 16y square can be written as 4y whole square. So in between we have 2ab in the identity. So accordingly we will put the value minus 2 into 3x into 4y. Now this resembles our identity 2. So whose factors we can write further y which we had already taken common and then 3x minus 4y into 3x minus 4y which is equal to y into 3x minus 4y whole square. Now let's move to question number 5. We are given 2a cube plus 4a square b plus 2ab square. Now if you observe 2a is common in all these terms. So we can take 2a common and we'll get inside the bracket a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now clearly it is identity 1 where a is equal to a and b is equal to b. So our factors are 2a in bracket a plus b into a plus b which is equal to further we can write 2a in bracket a plus b whole square. Now let's move to sixth question. It is given 50a square plus 98b square plus 140ab. Now over here clearly we can see that 2 is common. So we can take 2 common outside and inside the bracket we will get 25a square plus 49b square plus 70ab. Now it is identity 1 where we will further solve it and write it in the form of an identity like 25a square can be written as 5a whole square, 49b square can be written as 7b whole square plus now we have 2ab in our identity so we can write 2 into 5a into 7b. So clearly our a is equal to 5a and b is equal to 7b. So therefore further we will write 2 which we have taken common into in bracket 5a plus 7b into in bracket 5a plus 7b which is equal to 2 in bracket 5a plus 7b whole square. This is how we have factorized algebraic expressions using identity 1 and 2. Thank you everyone.